What up, YouTube? Fiercely on here, and we're back with some more Pokemon Crown Tundra action. With our Wonderlock, and currently we're going to figure out what we're going to put on the team. And so far, we've got the Apple Pie Dinosaur, a.k.a. Apple Ton. So we've got Yakhammer on the squad. We got someone else piping up about the Crawdont and the Deblade. Oh, you got the whole ass team selected, huh? Well, I wonder if anybody else has some objections or agreements. Let's see, we got the Crawdont in here. I'm, I'm down with the Crawdont. I'm down with that. I'm down with the Conkelder, because, you know, Conkelder's a boss. We got Marowak and Deblade as the last two that you have selected. So I'll say this is my vote. This is Lil Byron Boy's vote. Oh, excuse me. And these two are Souls boats. Anybody else want to th throw their hat in the ring? My name is Nico Montoya. Little white hair boy. You like this guy? You like Rosa Raid, do you? <laughs> Him or Sorty? Him or Sorty, huh? Hmm. That's fair. Zagreus was part of that list that Soul put out there. I feel obligated to at least put. I don't know. Maybe Razor Gore on the team? I'm looking at typing effectivenesses. And Amaterasu, Yakhammer, and Cynthia Vaughn are all weak to flying. So I don't want to add an Ego Montoya. Oops. Wonka resists it. Crimfobin is Crimfobin. You know? Which one is named Conkelder? None of them. Cynthia Vaughn Aspie is a Conkelder. Conkelder is a Pokemon. This little behemoth here. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, awkward. <laughs> um, my vote is either... Uh, my last vote, I guess I should say, is either going to be for Wonka or Razor Core. Who do you guys think? We got little, uh, little Metal Mole Boy. Or Razor Gore, this little ball of cotton candy fluff. Lovey Nugget. Hmm. What do you think? Uh, I don't. I don't think that that's true. <laughs> so we're going with the fluffy nugget. That's the last. Uh, no one. No one's speaking up against it. That's how I've always pronounced it. Oh, is it the Pokemon that you didn't even know what the hell it was two minutes ago? Right. 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 I, I see Pokemon pronunciations as uh, something like, you know, kind of like uh, God pronunciations. Like, until someone that invented them comes up and tells me it, you know, they're, they're kind of uh, ambiguous. You know what I mean? Whoa! Did not mean to do that. Is that? Well, the wrong way, actually. Oh. 
That's like people who say that Rayquaza is Rayquaza. I, I hate that. That's, oh, just hearing someone say that that pronunciation is how it's supposed to be just oh makes me want to fucking pull my own tongue out. <clears throat> But, alright, we're gonna get this show on the road. Look at this, look at this. Boom! <clears throat> Freezington. Yeah, we've already had our Freezington encounter. We've already been here, bro. Y'all need to show us. Oh. oh, hello, hello. What have we here, another visitor? I am the mayor of this fair town of Freezington. I must say it's a surprise to have visitors arriving in our out-of-the-way town one after another. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvest as well? Um, sure. Uh, never mind, it hardly bears asking. After all, there's very little otherwise to attract visitors to our sleepy corner of the region. Which is a bit of a shame, really. People come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fairy tale. But since you've made the journey, I must offer you this Freezington specialty as a memento. A boat neck sweatshirt? What the hell? It's a shirt emblazoned with the likeness of the King of Bountiful Harvests. I'm afraid it hasn't sold quite as well as we'd hoped. We've got a fair number left over. The illustration's based on extremely ancient accounts of the king's appearance, hence the unusually sized head. But we thought it might make the design a touch more hip, as they say. <laughs> if you'd like to see what the king really looked like, I suggest you take a look at that statue by the fields in the center of our village. By the by, while you're here in the Crown Tundra, feel free to let you go and lead Pokemon out of its Pokeball for a stroll. <laughs> Farewell now, then. <laughs> Alright, then. Or! <laughs> Over here, Leon! Forget his voice already. It's been like four days and I've already forgotten. It's a pinata from Viva Pinata. I love Viva Pinata. Uh, honestly, if they re if, so obviously Fable is supposed to be coming back, but if they actually made an effort to bring out more games like Viva Pinata and Fable, like the actual good uh, Xbox exclusives, that would be a reason to have a fucking Xbox. But they don't push those games. They push Halo. And that's fucking it. So, yeah, Xbox has been dead for a while. And it will continue to be that way, but maybe one day they'll pull their heads out of their asses and actually give us a fucking game worth our while. Oh, look at this. It's a statue of a Pokemon, but somehow it feels as if it's missing something. <clears throat> huh. Also, we encountered something... Aha, here it is. We never walked over to this whenever we saw it the first time. Oh shit, it's Sonya! I was not expecting her. Um, what was her voice? I don't know. Uh, yes, there you are! These are exactly what I was looking for! I knew my hypothesis was spot on! Huh? Wait, Leon? What are you doing in a place like this? What are you doing here? I keep asking myself that exact same question. Uh, if I'd known it was going to be this cold here, I would have thought things through a bit more. But here I am, stuck in the Crown Tundra, trying to learn about a group of Pokemon. There are some Pokemon that prefer places where the people... There are no people, you see. Pokemon that choose to live in isolation. The Crown Tundra here is just that place for that sort of Pokemon. If my theory is correct, then I think a certain trio of legendary Pokemon could be lurking somewhere in these lands. I'm sure my theory is not wrong. If you want some proof, then look here. See those footprints? Uh, yeah, I, I do. That's why I wanted to walk up to them. 
You've found evidence of the Iron Will Pokemon. That's 2% of the data needed to track it. Holy shit, 2%? 2%? What the fuck? My theory is that the legendary Iron Will Pokemon, Cavern Pokemon, and Grassland Pokemon are all somewhere out there in the Crown Tundra. And there's evidence like this scattered, scattered all over the place that, that'll lead us to them. Holy shit, do I have to gather evidence before I can even continue on with this story? The fuck? If we could find more evidence and collect 100% of the data needed to track these legendary Pokemon, then I bet we could use the, my Pokemon Finder to figure out what habitats they're living in. But this place is wicked cold, and it's putting me in hibernation mode. Are you planning to stick around here for a while, Leon? Think you could try to spot more evidence like this and report it to me when you find it? I'll reward you for your hard work, of course. I'll be waiting in that house there so I can stay warm and cozy and maybe feel my fingers. Alright, so that I can go my pen and write, of course. <laughs> Since I'll be working so hard on my research. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Uh, well, fuck. If does that mean I have to find fifty different sets of fucking footprints? That's obnoxious. That's like the goddamn Diglett guy wanting me to go do all his goddamn dirty work. He's like, hey man, I'm too lazy to go get my own fucking Diglett. You wanna go get my Diglett for me? He's like, fucking no. What the hell's wrong with you? A bottle cap. Cool. Um, I don't know if I have to go talk to Peony or not. I kind of want to just search around and see if I can find those, uh... Those footprints. I don't know if they're all supposed to be by trees or if they're supposed to be around. Sounds like these I wish had fucking, like, ninja vision or something. Fucking phantom vision from Persona. <clears throat> oh, oh. Look what I got. Boom. Found evidence of the grassland Pokemon. That's 2%. What? I have to find... Okay, so wait. This is literally exactly what uh, the Diglett are. It's literally... Uh... 150 data points again because it's three different Pokemon each with 50 different sets of footprints although it seems like I can follow the, these footprints so it won't be as bad to a degree anyway I'm assuming hey leave me the fuck alone he was coming for me I want to see if I can't follow the one that's right behind me? Yeah. That's the Kinkelder. Oh, here we go. So, I'm... I'm thinking... Man, I want to know... If it's... If it's necessary for me to do this, to do all of the story, I'm assuming the like, I'm assuming this is specifically only for the birds, because although I don't know, wait, grassland Pokemon Iron Will. Wait a minute, those are for the ah oh, shit. What are they called? They're the three Musketeer Pokemon, the, the Swords of Justice, I think, is what they're called. Because he said Iron Will. What were, what were the three? Grassland, Iron Will, and what? Iron Will's gotta be Cobalion. Grassland is Verizion. And then... Whatever Trachyon is, I just can't remember right now. For whatever reason. I don't know if you have to... I don't know if this is what's tied to the Ultra Beasts. Go away, Magmar. Or if it's the... Uh, story... The story parts. Like with Peony and stuff. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, I know. I know Keldeo's special move is Secret Sword. Um, I'm talking about like, like for example, Articuno is legitimately just. Co Dude, that Aerodactyl was doing fucking disco. You see that? He was just sitting there like, wah, 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 wah. But, um... Like, for example, Arcanine's like the legendary Pokemon, which is funny because he's not a legendary Pokemon, but he's called the legendary Pokemon. Or like, uh, how Pikachu's the electric mouse Pokemon. Oh, here we go, here we go. So, am I back on the trail? Is that... Hey, I'm back on the trail! Nice! Okay. Um... Thing right up there? It's a neat arena. Where the hell did this guy come from? I'ma fuck him up. Get him. <laughs> I guess I'll go Stone Edge. Oh shit. He's going agility. He's so fast. Boom. Goodbye. Peace. Little nerd. Fuck out of here, nerd. Well, I was hoping I was on the on the trail. I mean, I kind of was on the trail, obviously, but kind of lost it. Here we go, here we go. You get zoomed out, you can actually kind of see things for a second. Oh. <laughs> Careful, Mint, huh? Oh, yeah. One of these things fucking destroyed me that not that long ago. Um, and... A certain friend of mine wanted me to get some revenge on it, so here I am, getting revenge. Check it out. Fucking hammer arm. Slam this bitch. Damn. Bitch, die! Yeah, that's right. Well, I broke him. I broke him like Batman over Bane's knee. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna find Verizion, man. I'm telling you. Verizion is mine. Granted, if we find it, that's a static encounter. At least, I think it would be. Ah! God damn it. Why didn't my character start sneaking instead of just like running? And the, the Nidoran? No, I'm not catching this. Um, I'm just gonna hammer on it, I guess. I am 10 levels higher than that. Die, bitch. Boink. I have three twitches going. It's hilarious with the echo. <laughs> damn. Really? Fucking poison point? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to have... a flame orb equipped to him anyway, I'm pretty sure. Give me one second while I heal him. Oh, he, he has it equipped to him. He just hasn't not insta-killed anything yet. Damn, look at all this stuff I got. Do I have Drain Punch by chance? I don't think I do. <sighs> I don't see it anyway. Oh, uh, it's Draining Kiss. Damn it! I don't have Drain Punch. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Or 
Where'd your little footprints go? Oh, there you are. Nice. Who all are you watching, man? Obviously, aside from me, I know that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, in case you guys don't know this already, um, we got almost, so the last time we streamed, we got almost every encounter possible, but I did forget to go here, uh, and here, and here. So there's still three encounters down here to get. Um, how do I'll get them? I'm not certain yet, but it's Leon Leon. Oh, you're literally listening to me three times? Why are you listening to me three times? <laughs> I don't know if it counts. I think it just counts as like... You being here individually on your account, and then that's it. If you're talking about extra viewership. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> you, should, you definitely should not do that. Oh, because I can't? Well, that's nice of you. Thank you. Uh, well, because, for one, I don't know how serious it is, but I know that, like, some people get in trouble for having, like quote-unquote fake viewership because you can like there's like programs that some people have used in the past to like essentially make it look like they have like a bunch of viewers but they're all like uh like bo like bots oh shit that was actually louder mr no aims hey nice of you to make it to a stream bro Probably the first time I've streamed uh, at a time when you were available, honestly. I usually stream late at night, but uh, I got some things going on this weekend that I have to be awake at like this kind of time for, so my sleep schedule is a little bit different than what it usually is. Wonky for me. <laughs> How's it going? Thank you for the follow. Oh, hell yeah. Got some more feet prints. Feeties. Just some more. I'm almost 50% of the way there. So close. Um, not seeing any more. These all these stupid dweebs with their damn shiny bikes. They'll probably freak at the three echoes. <laughs> Lucky for me, I don't have to listen to the echo. I feel bad if the the game audio is too loud and it echoes through my uh, from the TV to my microphone. Because I'm not obviously wearing headphones, so I I, I already feel bad for making you guys have to listen to Echo, which I try not to do. I try to eliminate it as much as possible. Oh, nice. Well, thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Uh, 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 uh. Get away from me, Heatmore. I'm, uh, I'm just trying to get some... Uh, get some Pokemon work done, which is funny because I immediately got sidetracked with a side quest. But, you know... Sometimes that happens, and that's per perfectly fine. I'm okay with that. To as long as I'm doing something, you know, something productive, which I am. I'm trying to find all of the footprints for. Well, I guess not all of them, because I'm just not trying to fucking seek out all 150 uh, for all three of these. But we got 50% of Verizion at least, so might as well try to get it right. Or most of the way there. Might as well try to get one of them done. Because I know that it's either these guys or it's someone. Or it's like a different Pokemon. <laughs> that's related to direct. It's like something is directly linked to the Ultra Beasts in this game to unlock them and get them to like interact with you and stuff. And that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because I want 
the Ultra Beasts to happen in my game. I just gotta figure out how to make it happen. So I'm trying to trying to do what I can do. Just trying to find them all. Plus, this will probably be a uh, because I'm also recording this for YouTube content. Uh, it'll be like a a thing that someone can like go back and be like, oh man, where are all the footprints for Verizion? Like, they can basically watch me and like be like, yeah, by the way, this is how to do it. This is how to get all the this is all the locations and blah blah blah. So that'd be pretty cool. I don't have any sort of like quote unquote guides or anything like that. At least not on my personal channel. I do on my old uh, company channel, my like team channel basically that I eventually want to turn into a company. Um, but since I gotta be successful myself before I can expect to make a quote unquote company or a team or anything like that, <laughs> I stepped away from that. Plus, at, no, it was very old. It was whenever um, Dark Souls had their first, like the original Dark Souls had their first DLC content come out. That's how old those videos are. Uh, me and a buddy of mine, he had all the equipment at the time. Now I've got the equipment, and I don't even know what he does these days. I haven't talked to him in forever. This will be my first personal uh, style, I guess, of um, Go away, Heatmore. Leave us alone. I'm lacking on Pokemon. I haven't played since Black and White. Oh, bro. Speaking of Black and White, <laughs> you can check out the YouTube if you like. I have a, a whole playthrough of me going through Black and White, because, fun fact, Black and White is my favorite generation. Um, it, I, I kind of hail it as the generation that brought me back into Pokemon, so that's kind of probably why it's my favorite, but I've obvi I obviously played when it came out in 98, you know, when I was a kid, or 96, no, 98, it had to be 98, um, and I played the hell out of it when I was a kid, um, all gens 1 through uh, 3, and then I kind of went through a phase where I was like, oh, I'm too cool for Pokemon, or something kind of like akin to that, I guess, um, or it was just the fact that I had played so much Pokemon that I was probably a little burnt out at the time. It's probably a combination of things. But I came back and I was really interested in it. Um, right around the time that Black and White came out, I started playing it again. And I've been in love again ever since. <clears throat> so the only generation I've never actually given a proper shake is 4th Gen. But to be fair, judging by the Pokemon that are in 4th Gen, I... I just don't think I would like it that much. I think my favorite Pokemon out of 4th Gen was like Togekiss. Which is funny because most of the Pokemon that I do like out of 4th Gen are evolutions of Pokemon that came from previous Gens. Like I like Electivire. I think Electivire is awesome. I think Magmortar is pretty cool. I mean I have a whole ass uh, series. I mean it's not complete yet but I can tell you that Recording has completed. Whether or not I succeeded, uh, you can find out if you if you want. <laughs> Episodes usually go up Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but sometimes they go up Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, if there's more to do. I like playing challenge runs and nuzlocks. Oh, that's another thing. Um, I don't know when or when we're when we'll start or you know whatever, but I'm planning on doing. So a new game came out yesterday, and I meant to pick it up yesterday, uh, but like I said uh, earlier, time kind of got away from me yesterday, so I didn't get to do all the things that I wanted to do. But one of the things that I do want to do is I want to play through. Uh, I try to find ways to do basically like Nuzlocke, st uh, Nuzlocke style runs in things that don't normally have a Nuzlocke like theme to it, and I try to like turn it into that. 
So one of the things that I thought would be cool is Watch Dogs Legion just came out and you can basically recruit anybody. And I thought I would do, it would be really cool if I did like a Nuzlocke style game play of that game and try to go through and basically like, I don't know, because it's based off of London, right? So like, let's say you got, you know, I don't know what you want to call it, like East London or something, right? I can only recruit one person from East London. Right, and then use that person until they get arrested or until they die or something. Because I know that they can die. Like, I I most specifically remember because I was watching a, an interview and they were talking about how like there's a guy, there's a character that they saw that has like adrenaline junkie as a trait, and it's like they usually do actions or like no, I think they have like a bigger stamina bar than most, but there's like a chance that they'll just have die of a heart attack randomly. I was like, dude, that'd be fucking hilarious if I'm sitting there going through the game and my, you know, my guy just kind of died out of nowhere for a reason, which would suck, but at the same time, it's kind of funny to think about. So that would be kind of cool, uh, doing a, a Nuzlocke of a Nuzlocke style uh, challenge run of a game that normally wouldn't have that kind of uh, viability to it <laughs> I would have to obviously look into the map a little bit of Watch Dogs Legion to find out if it's even realistically plausible but I don't see why not like it's a it's a big ass map with areas to it I can I can figure out a way to you know cut it out get things get some encounters which would be fun. I don't know I think that would be hilarious to this turn humans into Pokemon, essentially. Whoop! Get away from me. I think we're off the beaten path at this point. Um, I don't think I'm going to be encountering any more of those footprints all the way up here. Wait, did we go up this far last time? I feel like we didn't. Right? We didn't come up this far? Does that mean there's still an encounter up here, too? Ah, something. Oh, look at that little schnaw. <laughs> I can't. I cannot have this. <laughs> I'm just gonna slam it. <clears throat> I missed, no! He won't. I'm gonna slam him and kill him now. Body. <laughs> Try to get me alone. Uh, uh. Yeah, I think we're. Uh... <clears throat> Shit, just fucking wild Metagross. Just chillin', you know, thanks. Bye. Huzzah! Tunnel to the top. Oh shit, this is definitely a new area. Oh, Zubat, you are our encounter for now. <laughs> Did you forget what the Wonderlock is already? No. Yeah, so it doesn't matter what I catch, because it's not actually what we're keeping. Um... Wait, did it just say something was dozing off? Quick ball, go! Too bad they're not Snomicops? Snomicops? I don't get it. I don't think it, that I get it. I'm being honest. We're gonna send it to a box, duh. <laughs> oh, you, so you just said Pokemon's backward. Fair enough. 
Um, I honestly don't know if this goes anywhere else, like further up. Go away, Bagon, little douche. Oh. Well, the area didn't change yet. Oh, look, a frost last. Look at that. Hey, a quick ball. Nice. Whoop. Go away. Whoop. Go away. Look at all these random weird ass. I mean, it's cool that you're here, Drudigan, but what the hell's the point? Oh, it wasn't a dead end, okay. I thought it was for a second. <clears throat> Ooh. Heavy duty boots. Do oh, you have a pair of those? Hmm. This is not a dead end. Okay, I thought it was for a second. <laughs> All these fake dead ends. Rare candy. Nice. Wishing piece. Also pretty nice. Due to Salamence just casually hanging. Nice. Super noise. Except uh, I can't have him, so who cares? Snow slide slope. Have I already been here? I've definitely already caught something here, right? Snow slide slope, that definitely sounds familiar. Yeah, this is just a. Excuse me, goodness. Dude, he was breakdancing. Look at him. He's like. He's like. Do the dance. Make me love. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Who are Yeah. Actually, hang on. I'm gonna get that secret item. Path to the peak. Okay, okay. This is a new area for us. This is definitely not somewhere that we've been. Look at all these fucking frost moths. We'll, we'll, get, we'll catch this snob just for her. But we are trading it away, so it doesn't matter. What are those sitting ball things that are Pokemon? Sitting ball things. You talking about the carvings? Do they look like little rocks? Wiggle. Hey. Yeah. We caught it. We caught it. We caught it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh that's two encounters, baby. Take them straight to the bank. There are so many frost moths here. That's literally like a bevy of frost moths. Yeah. Google it, son. Yeah. Because you don't want to learn. You don't want to be smart. Smart like me. <laughs> Why would I ever want to be smart? That's dumb. <laughs> Crown Shrine. Oh, shit. Some crazy. Some crazy shit's going on out there. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here yet. It's definitely like uh oh. You felt that something was watching you until just a moment ago. Uh oh. You were in the cave, one of them was next to Salamence. Yeah, I think that was a carving. I think, I think, I think. I mean, I can't confirm because obviously I'm not there anymore. 
Man, they're doing some vacuuming out there. They're coming for us. What's this? What's this? TR-11 Psychic. Alright. What's the fucking point of giving me a TR? But whatever. Remember, I can just buy most of them. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk to me. Alright, you can talk to me now. Golden talk. A tin of beans. Are these people... Is she literally just standing there? Yeah, it looks like it. <clears throat> I thought that this was a person, like, stopping me from going inside. Ooh. Uh. I don't know if this is going to cause an event. I mean, obviously, like, it's definitely plausible. I bet the watching Pokemon was a Kirim. I don't think it was a Kirim. I think it was either the the little you know the crown tundra Pokemon. I think it was either him or it was one of the other two Pokemon that you're not supposed to know that exist yet. But the internet is good at spoiling things for everybody. Fucking internet, exactly. Hmm. A massive tree is reaching up into the sky. Cool, 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 cool. So clearly, I'm not supposed to be here yet. I mean, obviously, the little uh, things happen. Look at this. This is a horse stable. It's a fucking horse stable. Boom. Um, it seems to be some sort of basket. Yeah, I think we're supposed to come back once we have, you know, stuff. That's a good question. What stuff? I do not currently know. It will let me fly up here later, so that's nice. I don't think we can get a Pokemon in the Crown Shrine, because I probably can't get a Pokemon to follow me up. Kind of like how I got uh, an encounter in the town, because I got a Pokemon to follow me into, like, into town. But I don't think I could get a Pokemon to follow me all the way up here. Yeah, because this is a while. Hey, you. Look. Damn, this thing just don't even cur. Don't even cur. Oh, <laughs> Matarasu's albino sister. That's fair. I'll accept this as an answer. Um, I think I'm just gonna smack it with a hammer. Should be enough to KO it. Oh shit! It's just straight. It crit me? Are you fucking serious, dude? <sighs> why? Fucking why? <sighs> dude. If you don't think for one second that I am the most unlucky player that's ever touched Pokemon... Then you are smoking all of the drugs. You're good. Hey, yeah. you get in your bedroom and you don't come out till I tell you, boy. I promise we don't have this <laughs> Well, uh, fucking hell. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, Con. <laughs> Goodbye, Conk. Cynthia Vaughn. Maybe one day they'll be able to pronounce your name correctly. Maybe one day, but probably not. Oh my goodness. I'm so sad. Alright, who are we adding in place of this? Who are we adding in place of this? I'm gonna obviously send these dweebs out. 
I guess I'll just do Wonka. Right? Wonka Wonka! Uh, who is the fastest Pokemon that we have? 105, 160, 185. Holy shit, our team is slow as dicks. Um, I guess Wonk is the fastest, so we'll just put him out there. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Why, does, why do bad things have to happen to me? And exclusively me. Literally no one else. No one else has ever had a bad time in Pokemon. Not once, not never. Oh yeah. Um, I will go ahead and try to wonder trade this Zubat. Yes. Obviously, we're not anywhere near where we can. Ah, 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 ah. Let's go talk to Peony since you know. Our adventures thus far. How's this guy? Hello there, welcome! I have some lovely goods for sale. Oh, you just have shit. You just have shit to sell me, huh? <sighs> Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Why would I buy money from this guy? I wonder if these sell for 10 grand. I kind of want to buy one, just to see. I'll buy one. If it doesn't... I bought one monies off of that guy. Mostly because I don't know if it's worth... Like, what would be the point of me buying a big pearl just to sell it back to somebody else if it's gonna be, like, equal? I don't get it. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> there you are! This little... Uh, no, no, no. This pokey little place will be our lodgings. But as for this moment, it's also something far more important. Our base camp! I know, I know. Not much of a base camp, is it? Still, we've got to give it a proper air of importance, haven't we? Now, enough faffing about, Leon. Let me tell you what the Peony Exploration Team is after. Haha, <laughs> round here, they've got a fair few strange and mysterious legends. For example, a huge headed Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. Not to mention, a massive red tree where legendary flying Pokemon gather. And furthermore, these great Hulk and Dot faced giants that sleep in some ruins or something. Etc. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with juicy legends! And we're not stopping until we've found just how much truth they've got to them. And there you have it. We are the Peony Exploration Team! Huzzah! And that is our grand, noble, magnificent goal! Of course, if I had my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Naya. Are you leaving? Good, get the fuck out of my house. Good, I want to get the fuck out of your house. <laughs> Haley, you're the only one that's loved here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out, bitch. Oh, I'm gonna bang the door on the way out. <laughs> so you have to live with that for the rest of your life. <laughs> Don't fuck our door. I never fuck you, man. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> You know what? what? This makes two households you're not wanted in. Bitch! <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. Fuck him up, chat. Oh, shit. Alright. <clears throat> sorry about that. <laughs> but who knows? They say even chancy meetings can lead to blissy full friendships. <laughs> So here's to a grand adventure, Expedition Chief Leon. Chief? Obviously. Look, what do you think would happen if the two of us went gallivanting off together? My dear Naya could come along for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just the thought of it, my own darling daughter, sitting alone in this room, pining for her papa. 
God, nope, not on my watch. I'd never let that happen. So I'll be the hold down the fort chief. Which means you get the pleasure of being the expedition chief. <laughs> Which brings me to this. Go on, have it. Got an expedition uniform. Boom. If I swear to God if it makes me change, it's changing me. It's forcing me to change, chat. I'm not wearing this. Yeah, I'm not wearing this. <laughs> Look at that. Fits you like a glove. I brought some spare uniforms so my dear Naya would have a few to change into. So I'm wearing women's clothes right now. Confirmed, I'm wearing women's clothes. What the fuck? So there's enough to give you one. And if you ever need to change or have a kip, by all means, just head into the bedroom back here. <laughs> I've got some different colored scarves in there, so switch it up if you fancy a bit of style. In Death Stranding, Leon. Oh, because I'm going on an expedition all by myself. Here, have these two. Obtained Legendary Clue 1. A clue about the King of Bountiful Harvests is written by Peony and an old photo is attached to it. Boom, look at that. He's got a big dopey-ass fucking flu head. Ever since this Pokemon was announced, I already hated it. Like, no offense to the Pokemon, but I'm just not into the design of this Pokemon with its big, dumb, fucking mushroom head. <laughs> There's a fairy tale in Freezington about the legendary Pokemon known as the Bat King of Bountiful Harvests. In the legends, the king is said to wear a massive crown on its head, but the wooden statue near the fields in the middle of this village shows no sign of a crown. I said, yeah. I was just waiting on you to be ready to make it. You obtained a legendary clue, too. A clue about the legend of giants. It's written by Peony and has unique drawings. Ooh. Far, far into the giant's bed lies a temple where the giants, a giant of stone sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Let the world on The door remains firmly shut. Sunken in the side of Snowslide Slope lies a temple where the giant of ice sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. What's it going to be? The door remains firmly shut. <clears throat> Near where green meets snow and the giant's bed lies. A temple where the giant of steel sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Let out, note, walk, I am seal. <laughs> the door remains firmly shut. <clears throat> On the distant paths of Three Point Pass lies a temple where two giants sleep. On the temple's door are strange words. Where will the door all be in? The door remains firmly shut. You obtained Legendary Clue 3. A clue about the Legend of Bird Pokemon. It's written by Peony and has a unique drawing. When the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon a great tree with leaves that seem to burn. It is there the legendary wings come to roost. There, legendary clues I've meticulously compiled from hours of dedicated telly watching. <laughs> First off, yeah. Why not have a look at that clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest? Seems like this king's bonds with it. It's, it's loyal steed, or whatever you call it, run property. So if I had to name this expedition, I'd call it... The Sacred Bonds of Sovereign and Steed. Dun, 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 hit, hit, hit. There's a great big statue of it bang in the middle of this village. Though its head isn't as massive as in my notes. I like how it keeps like subtly being like, hey, look over here. <laughs> Change back to my usual clothes? Fucking yes, I'm not wearing this dumbass shit. Going in the space outfit, that's orange like Death Stranded. Yeah, 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 I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. <clears throat> All set, time to investigate the legends surrounding the crown tundra. Aha! I've just had an idea. Here's a little something to help you out. 
obtained a Master Ball? Bleh. How the hell did you get a Master Ball? You know what I had to do to get mine? God, this is supposed to be the one Ultra Mega Corker of a ball. Use it wherever you think you ought to. I got it ages ago from somebody I used to know. Never could bring myself to use it, though. If you ever get a bit turned around, come on back to base camp anytime. You can't miss it. Just look for the adventure and crew flag I stuck out for. <laughs> Handmade by truly yours. Yours truly. <clears throat> anyway, I suppose that's that. Let the grand adventure begin. Have a smashing time out there. So do I have to do them in order? Do I have to do them like dweeby ass fucking head fucking case Pokemon? Then the Reggies? Then the birds? That's a good question. That is a good question. Also, give me this fucking thing. Hey, Chief! My pillow's caught your eye, eh? Your pillow? Boy, right, listen here, Chief. I've got some wisdom to impart. If you could put your head on it and have a kip, it's a pillow! Unfortunately, I went and left my favorite pillow back at home. So I went to have a look around town for something to rest my head on. And I found this out back behind the inn. Can I have it? C come off it! You want me to hand over my ultra mega comfy pillow? That's asking a lot, even coming from you, Chief! Huh? What's that? You think my pillow's got something to do with a legendary Pokemon? God, ultra mega seriously? This is just some old thing I found. But if you really want it, Chief, who am I to refuse? Alright, alright, go on then, have it. But you'd better make sure you track that legend down. The first thing I did, walked right over, picked it up. I ain't dawdling. Let's go. Obtained a wooden crown. Wow, wow, wow. A mysterious object made of wood. Part of it seems to be chipped. Maybe it's meant to be part of something. Crown. Yeah, you don't say. You don't fucking say. God, I cannot believe that the first thing that happens to our Pokemon is it gets crit blizzard. What is this bullshit? Fucking horse cock is what it is. I don't think there's another. I don't think there's another person in existence out there that is quite as unlucky as I am. Ooh, a snowbird. I wonder if we can keep this. And it's in a fucking whatever you call it, premier ball. Yeah, premier ball. That's awesome. <clears throat> also, time to trade away the snow. I know why. Lucky for you, I have one. Caught one just for you because I'm going to show it to you. Um, hang on. Search stamps. Friends only? Oh, no. No one? Okay, interesting. I assumed that that chaos down there was Cody. If I'm being honest. If I'm being honest. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Unless he sold it. Yeah, he had one before I did, I think. I think so. I think he got it whenever he was with Alex. Could be wrong. But I don't honestly remember. Look at that. Look at all those mysteries. Obama's now for name. Wait, are you trying... Obama's... Now. Well, it doesn't quite play out the way you want to name it, but... Yeah, I, I get Obama's now. Oh, did you mean to make it one word? Because that makes a lot more sense. We're trading this Snom to Rory. Goodbye, Snom. Boing! Hello, Snom. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> a Dratini, huh? This will be a bitch and a half to train. I mean, obviously, I can train it by itself relatively easily. <clears throat> Dratini dwells near bodies of rapidly flowing water, such as the plunge pools of waterfalls. As it grows, the tree will shed its skin many times. Alright, let's do this. It's a statue of Pokemon. 